హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎట్ అనదర్ సెషన్ ఆన్ ఎస్ఏ పర్స్పెక్టివ్స్ ఐ సిన్సియర్లీ అపాలజైజ్ ఫర్ నాట్ హ్యావింగ్ డన్ వీడియోస్ ఫర్ ఆల్ దీస్ వీక్స్ సో ఐ వాస్ బిజీ విత్ సమ్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ కమిట్మెంట్స్ కుడ్ నాట్ డివోట్ టైమ్ టు ఇట్ ఐ ఎమ్ సిన్సియర్ అపాలజీస్ సో బీ దట్ యాజ్ ఇట్ మే సో వీ హ్యావ్ నౌ డిసైడెడ్ టు టేక్ అప్ ద టాపిక్స్ దట్ హ్యావ్ దట్ బీన్ యాజ్డ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఇయర్స్ ఎస్ఏ పేపర్ so as part of that uh, the first topic uh, that is being asked today is forests precede civilizations deserts follow them without wasting much time let's start friends as always i have a personal request third edition of my book ethics integrity and aptitude has unfortunately been pirated pirated copies are of very low paper and print quality i urge all the aspirants to buy original thank you the original copies can be bought by scanning this qr code or by typing this link thank you every essay has to be first conceptualized as being made of various components and sub components so in the similar lines this essay the important components predominant components for this essay are first we would introduce the topic then we would uh, discuss the dwell delve into the essence of the topic then we try to we would try to explore the relationship between civilization and environmental degradation then we would try to counteract and i um, mean check uh, if civilization is all that bad then we would see how a balance can be struck and then we would conclude friends as soon as i saw this topic i was reminded of my days my my college days when i was doing my graduation in bangalore i was traveling by this rv road from lal bagh to south end circle i mean of course those who are familiar with bangalore would be aware but others also just try to bear with me because this is my real life example so that's what struck to my mind so i thought let me start my essay like this so so basically this is this uh, road road is one of the important roads in bangalore and it used to have lot of trees it used to have lot of shade actually so it was fun for all the college students to to walk and uh, to to enjoy that uh, nature actually though it was uh, cosmopolitan bangalore that road never appeared to be so you uh, we, we always used to get the feeling of a countryside so in those pockets so but, but that was that, that was when i started when i i mean started my college but after some 2 3 years i could visible see the visible change there why because that those trees were all chopped off and on because of metro bangalore metro line so thus this is a classic case see um, here you you can very well imagine so here there was forest that is nature and uh, civilization came and that forest actually has been destroyed so finally the forest preceded the civilization now that area looks like a desert without any trees so so thus so thus it is important to understand the the relationship between civilization and forest forest matlab nature so civilization comes and civilization does uh, attack on the nature or environment whatever so in this essay let us try to explore how civilization would impact environment or we would also try to explore whether it is civilization it is only the civilization that would affect the environment adversely or not that it's it's quite a straight forward topic uh, of course i need not have to delve much i mean i'm sure the, the the this topic would actually if i throw one point at you you people would be able to give me 10 more points actually this is such a such a very broad and well read and topic so most of the upsc aspirants i am sure would have chosen this topic for their exam also so be that as it may so then i mean after this brief introduction so we should go to the next slide so now after we have introduced the topic it is important for us to explore the essence of the topic essay statement this essay statement has three keywords forests civilizations deserts what does forest does forest refer to a uh, thick vegetation that we uh, the, the that dictionary or the lexicon would uh, refer it to no not exactly so here the forest is a representative of the entire nature forest is not forest in the literal sense it can it can mean wildlife it can mean biodiversity it can mean uh, uh, air water everything actually so forest is not um, forest per se but it also encompasses environment it also encompasses or represents nature okay so that is the broad meaning of forest then what is civilization friends whether you have written this essay well or not depends 
squarely on your understanding of the term civilization if you explore the term civilization properly i think you would have hit a gold mine in this essay because most of us would not we we know what is civilization but we would not uh, present it the way it should be okay so basically what is civilization civilization is basically organized way of material life to put it simply correct so civilization is an organized way of life it in uh, i mean which is mostly uh, featured by characterized by material way of life civilization does not talk about spiritual things does not talk about psychological things metaphysical things no all those feelings beliefs thoughts practices uh, 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 practices uh, etc they constitute culture but the material way of life the tangible way of life is what constitutes civilization so uh, thus easy let us recollect the example of uh, indus valley civilization so the moment you talk about indus valley civilization what comes to your mind town planning and you say the roads were broad the roads used to cut at right angles there used to be one up i mean i mean uh, 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 great bath correct so all these things what does it actually indicate to you it's an organized way of life it's a material way of life you should construct house like this you should dev dev i mean you should develop your city like this there should be one downtown there should be one citadel all these things actually and also you you find uh, the, these are the these are the whatever civilizations you study you also study about the tools what are the tools that were used what are the ornaments that those people wore what are the deities that they worship see here it's important worshiping per se is is uh, um, culture but uh, you create a deity out of it that is civilization idol is a civilization devotion faith is culture so basically civilization is material representation of our way of life correct so thus everything that we see in this world whether it is transportation whether it is economic production whether it is industry whether it is uh, 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 our the our construction activity whether it is uh, 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 information technology all these things are various facets of civilization a person he is civilized when he is able to use all these things right so we 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 uh, i mean on a lighter note we always think that a person who coming from countryside interior side uh, with all due respects uh, who is not very good at uh, using technology who is not very good at uh, uh, i mean leading a city way of life if i may put so is regarded to be uncivilized the one who doesn't know how to eat the one who doesn't know how to sleep with i mean the one who doesn't know how to carry himself etc etc so thus that is un- we 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 tag that person as uncivilized so that means it's basically material way of life hope i have made sense if you explore if you explain this concept of civilization well then i think that would set the right context for your essay then comes desert here desert does not mean a desert per se it represents environmental degradation while forest represents environment desert represents environmental degradation correct see uh, chopping of trees uh, in a tropical area would lead to environmental degradation that may not convert that area into desert yet that is environmental degradation so this essay when i bring together the meanings of all these things this the essence of this essay statement is that uh, the material way of life of human beings has led to degradation of environment as soon as a human being embraces an organized material way of life he would start destroying the pristine environment so this is the essay statement in this essay we should explore if 
it is this organized material way of life that would cause environmental degradation correct okay friends once we have understood the, uh, the meaning of uh, the essay statement it is important for us to uh, 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 explain the characteristics of civilization or manifestations of civilization and then link those manifestations with the uh, with the uh, environmental degradation that linking is what uh, would constitute the uh, heart of your essay correct so see friends generally writing an essay on environmental degradation is different but here you since the essay statement is very specific to civilization it is important for us to for us to uh, uh, package our uh, content arguments in such a way that uh, Uh, it is explained through the lens of civilization okay friends the first characteristic of civilization is concentrated human settlements friends how was human being living earlier human being i mean ancient human beings used to live sporadically uh, uh, in various parts so so never did they come together to live like a community correct so the the hum the man uh, the community living of the man is the starting point of civilization so all of us are aware so people who are living scatteredly like any other animal started living together in uh, in a human settlement in a settlement so that is the starting point of civilization but as the degree of civilization increased the concentration or the the magnitude of concentration of uh, human settlements also increased that's how small small human settlements gave rise to big cities and today cosmopolitan cities where where about a crore more than a crore individuals also would live in one settlement in cities like bangalore or whatever the population almost touches 1 crore so that is the 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 pinnacle of civilization so the first thing is concentrated human settlement correct then this how does this concentrated human settlements lead to environmental degradation is the question that we need to answer friends every ecosystem has something called carrying capacity all of us uh, would have read in our uh, ev uh, environmental Uh, science okay so this carrying capacity is that means every ecosystem is endowed with certain resources okay that resources can sustain certain species correct so if the number of species that can uh, the, the number of species dependent on that resource uh, do not outsmart the the ability of the resources to sustain those species then the resources also would get replenished and there is no environmental imbalance but when human more and more species more and more human beings or whatever start living on a uh, a uh, a uh, 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 limited uh, resource uh, then there is problem that is what we call Uh, uh, the beyond carrying capacity so every ecosystem has a carrying capacity so when the number of human uh, beings start living uh, uh, beyond the carrying capacity of that ecosystem then environmental imbalance sets in so that environmental uh, woman there are many examples see there are water resources across the earth correct so if everybody starts living there then everybody starts living uh, uh, on uh, i mean uh, uh, sporadically all along the water resources then perhaps everybody would get water there is no problem but when 1 crore people start living at one place or even 1 lakh people start living at one place definitely that place would not have the adequate water to to sustain that population so in such a scenario the water has to be brought from a far away place so how do you be bring it from far away place for which you have to lay pipeline sometimes you have to use lift irrigation since the the earth landscape is not always i mean the since uh, 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 water cannot be brought always on gravity you have to use lift irrigation so why in in this process 
you have to bring some water then you have to lay pipeline in that process you may have to cut some trees and also for lifting the water you need electricity for generating electricity maybe you have to you, you have to reserve it to, to uh, 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 i mean uh, um, the various non renewable uh, or exhaustive uh, non renewable resources like thermal energy correct so but if everybody were to stay at Uh, far away places then perhaps this bringing of water to a particular place would not have been a problem correct so thus this is just one example so thus where concentrated human settlements lead to i mean necessitate that an ecosystem has to sustain the individuals beyond its carrying capacity leading to environmental imbalance correct second thing is capitalism capitalism is the hallmark cardinal principle of our civilization who is a civilized person a person who has more money is regarded to be more civilized because he has uh, more access to more material resources that's how we see it right so the the entire civilization is driven by something called profit so this profit and also economies of scale so when you produce things on a higher scale then the input cost comes down your profit goes up that is what economies of scale right so thus here this profit motive this uh, tendency the, the drive to realize this economies of scale would uh, charge a person to resort to indiscriminate exploitation of natural resources correct if not for capitalism natural resources would not have been tapped uh would uh, uh, not have been tapped to the extent it is being tapped now correct so i mean see see the the indiscriminate mining activity that we come across most of the time i mean let us take the fancy marbles that we use for uh, uh, flooring in our houses in buildings these days we want italian marble correct so earlier days mein these marbles were not there right they used to be red oxide some some locally available stone people used to use now you want a polished etc etc so that that is actually leading to degradation of environment that resource is getting depleted see one rock one granite cannot get formed overnight right it needs millions of years so thus what is driving this capitalism because there is demand has been created and if the demand is fulfilled there is profit so people go and do indiscriminate mining of any resources then stratification see friends the 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 another aspect of civilization is social stratification see you take any society for that matter though the the uh, equal society is a wishful thinking but a civilized society tries to have stratification amongst itself it can be caste hierarchy or it can be class hierarchy so we have caste based societies we have class based societies but we hardly have equal societies correct so so one or the other community one or the other sub group in the entire population is placed at a particular level in the hierarchy so that is ingrained in our psyche correct so this how does this stratification impact environment it's very interesting so thus that is because that stratification forces a particular communities to send some social messages that the sending the social messages would necessitate uh, at times environmental degradation to illustrate let us say there is a village headman correct he is a village headman so he wants to consummate marriage of his daughter when a village headman wants to consummate the marriage of his daughter since he is headman since he is positioned at the higher uh, rung in the so- social hierarchy he has to conduct marriage in a very pompous extravagant way correct then only that so show then only everybody thinks that he is a rich man then only people would start giving him respect he cannot ca- consummate the marriage of his daughter like any other common man so that so he always wants to show off he always wants to uh, uh, do it in a way which would raise eyebrows of everybody so in such a scenario so that's why this extravagant luxurious weddings luxurious events uh, take place 
see i mean so much environmental degradation happens because of that such events would generate so much plastic waste correct so you burst crackers for what say care you burst crackers only to show that it's a premium wedding then you start uh, giving so many artifacts some gifts to everybody who has come that cannot be used that has no utility it is only for aesthetic purpose correct then then lot of such things actually so uh, thus and lot of food waste gets created i mean every time so so bigger events lead to uh, bigger quantity of waste so does this stratification also has a problem if everybody were to be treated equal perhaps everybody would have conducted consummated marriages in a simple way but it's not so correct so that also leads to environmental degradation next comes governance friends an uncivilized society does not have governance but a civilized society has governance so there is a mechanism uh, uh, by which everybody in that society is governed everybody in that society the behavior the the activities of everyone in that society are conditioned correct so how does this governance mechanism lead to uh, um, i mean uh, lead to environmental degradation so there are simple things the first thing is politics how politics see the, the idea of politics is politics is a power game so, so it's a game in which you try to outsmart your your opponent and try to grab the the power simple so when you 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 try to grab the power then when when that is the scenario uh, you want to have more resources for yourself so that you want to attract more people towards you so you you can convince people to support you only if you have more resources that actually leads to indiscriminate environmental degradation next comes populism see uh, see see while being in politics actually you have to have the support of people to continue in power when you want to have so there i mean when when you want their support uh, so many times many activities of the uh, individuals uh, uh, in uh, environmental degradation would not be dealt with seriously it would not be dealt with iron fist so that would lead to indiscriminate environmental degradation and the next thing is sophistication so human beings are want a sophisticated life so what do you mean by sophisticated life now so so earlier people used to use public transport correct so but now sophistication has made everybody to have a personal vehicle so so as from public transport the deviation happened to having one personal vehicle per family but now the things have gone to such an extent that you have personal vehicle for every individual so that leads to lot of i mean so 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 that leads to a lot of environmental degradation in terms of fuel that leads to lot of environmental degradation in terms of uh, traffic congestion what not actually so so imagine friends actually so you need more cars car don't come just like that right so you need some metals to make car how does that metal come so every product manufactured product has an ecological imprint so finally more cars you want so more metals more excavation more environmental degradation more pollution what not so so more um, Uh, so so the sophistication has led to i mean big problem and next comes aesthetics this is interesting friends so so another angle of civilization is aesthetics and see you want everything to be elegant you want everything to be neat clean i mean of course neat clean aside you want to look elegant so so you earlier people wanted to have just cot let us say you you just wanted have wooden cot but people now want wooden cot with some engravings on that carving on that so carving and engraving would lead to uh, usage of more wood that leads to more environmental degradation correct so so even usage of ivory for uh, all artifacts is another best example so that's all for sophistication so you want uh, you, you you want to have many show pieces 
you want to have many many uh, uh, i mean, I mean e- even lighting for that matter so chandeliers etc etc do they really serve any purpose beyond uh, uh, aesthetic value no but that's a big business today people are ready to spend money to look to uh, make things look very elegant correct so so thus that is also another feature of civilization leading to environmental degradation after uh, i mean uh, criticizing the civilization so much friends uh, we have to stop at it and we have to counter question ourselves is civilization all that bad absolutely no civilization is necessary that's why civilization has come up so the first thing is civilization ensures against vagaries of nature see earlier the life expectancy was very less even in india before independence of course uh, i mean what was the life expectancy the life expectancy was hardly 50 30 40 years but now the life expectancy has increased so perhaps as you go back uh, uh, before civilization the life expectancy was even less so the more civilized the society the l- higher the life expectancy you, you can take any country for that matter whether it is japan whether it is america whether it is european countries so they are highly they are more civilized have longer life expectancy correct why because uh, because uh, you 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 civilization has helped you to to condition yourself uh, or to to injure yourself against the vagaries of nature earlier let us i'll i'll just give you one beautiful simple example earlier what used to happen one flood used to come there was no no way in which a people can escape in that so people used to get washed away cyclones used to wash away people i mean not long before yaar yeah, even the that odisha cyclone which hit in 2000 and 2004 5 i am not sure i mean killed about 10000 people 10000 people but now it is no longer so why the civilization in terms of technology civilization in terms of water conservation structures so all these things have led to injuring human life against vagaries of nature another best example is drought i earlier what used to happen when you had a drought people did not have anything to eat people used to die of hunger but now civilization has led to techniques by which you can store food grains you, there are techniques to store water so that uh, whenever there is a problem whenever there is a shortage you can compensate with that buffer stock and you can l- still survive correct so if this is all possible because of civilization then how can you just rule out that see uh, so the civilization is not all that bad correct civilization has many uh, uh, see uh, uh, another example is also earlier when before civilization people could not grow this much of crops correct so so people had to live only on uh, fruits whatever the nature gifted to them but but it's not so now now we have water uh, canal systems irrigation systems by which you can grow more food so that you can correct so so thus the mm, it is not always that uh, uh, civilization has always led to degradation of environment see every time you have uh, uh, um, an agriculture crop it also contributes to uh, in a way to 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 environment only so so it gives oxygen see you, you have mango orchard correct now mango orchard is a big business so people have planted trees on their own to make money out of it that the mango tree gives oxygen mango tree does brings rain etc etc how can you just say no correct earlier it was not like that you could not have a mango orchard eh? you, you, you if the nature wanted to have a mango tree nature used to gift you otherwise no but now you can have a mango orchard you can have apple orchard what not so thus thus it is definitely possible so when you develop an orchard you have the smartness to bring water to it you have the smartness to bring fertilizers to it and you have to grow all this is because of civilization how can you just dismiss civilization as being detrimental to nature no not always and next comes enhances the quality of life correct friends one is it injures against the vagaries of nature second thing is it enhances the quality of life so thus better quality of life leads to 
leads to better conservation of environment also that is a very interesting thing for example earlier e even today the zoom cultivation whatever we see slash and burn agriculture where people used to chop off forest and they used to grow do agriculture correct that's how forest got devastated destroyed in many parts of the world but now this civilization has led to a scenario where you can have sustainable agriculture so that sustainable agriculture has led to something called enhancing that has led to that that has enhanced the quality of life and so the people are giving up slash and burn agriculture podu cultivation zoom cultivation whatever you may call it so that is actually is it not conserving environment if not for that agriculture i mean techniques production irrigation systems fertilizers improved seeds all these things which are nothing but product of environment i mean product of uh, a civilization i think uh, it would have led to more environmental devastation correct and third striking feature of civilization conserving environment is the governance mechanisms put in place by civilization to regulate the degradation friends all the mechanisms environmental protection act pollution control board and even uh, uh, un environment i mean uh, the, the cop summits held by un rio declaration rio de janeiro declaration earth summit etc etc don't you think all these things are governance mechanisms a product of a civilization only that is trying to reverse the environmental degradation so then how can you always say environment i mean civilization is leading to devastation of environment no right then if that is the case then what is leading to this problem if not civilization according to me the answer is greed it is not the civilization per se a regulated civilization is actually beneficial to the environment but the greed of human or mankind is actually taking civilization to a level which is it, it is not supposed to be so it is unregulated indiscriminate civilization that is leading to environmental degradation this indiscriminate and unregulated civilization is powered by human greed so if not for these two things perhaps civilization is a boon not a bane then friends after uh, realizing that uh, environment civilization is not all that bad uh, then we have to now strike a balance how do we strike this balance the first thing is dependence or development of renewable energy so the the first reason for environmental degradation is tapping of envir natural resources for generation of energy so be it thermal etc etc now with clean energy being promoted in terms of tidal energy solar energy even nuclear energy for that matter would actually uh, conserve environment at the same time advance the civilization also it is a win win scenario next comes afforestation we have to indulge in more and more afforestation so now the india government of india's policy of increasing forest cover to 33% is a move in the right direction so ek ped ma ka naam so so all this schemes of anamahotsava etc etc even mg nrgs under which uh, social forestry activities are given impetus so all these things are leading to afforestation which in turn uh, is trying to mitigate or even reverse the adverse impacts of uh, civilization on environment then we should promote recycling so the more and more we recycle then the less would be the damage and the environment the same every resource every product would be used to the maximum possible extent so otherwise what happens see the best example is this uh, use and throw cups and all so you use once and then you throw that is becoming an environmental hazard but if you switch uh, to other better alternatives then that would help so like reusable things like steel glasses uh, cotton bags etc etc even another example that is coming to my mind is e waste now electronic waste is another big problem in our country or in the world for that matter so now there are mechanisms wherein there are agencies that would that would take collect electronic waste try to extract all the useful metals whatever in that and try to sell it for recyclers so such recycling mechanisms would 
help the environment then environmental awareness we have to create as much environmental awareness as possible so once that environment see finally if every individual makes up his mind to conserve the environment then they would automatically switch to eco friendly ways of living so then that would then the uh, earth would be a better place then decentralized development as i told you concentrated human settlements is the biggest bain biggest burden on environment so if decentralized development models are developed such that the job opportunities are provided to individuals in their villages countryside itself then people would get the, the, the human settlements would get dispersed all across and there would be no concentrated human settlements and that would lead to better environment correct then scientific solutions see there are many scientific solutions for every environmental problem okay so thus that scientific solution scientific research has to be taken up in such a way that civilization is advanced and environment is also conserved so friends having said that now it is time for conclusion from the above discussion we can safely conclude that civilization is undoubtedly one of the prime reasons for environmental degradation however given the primacy of civilization or civilized life in a, in each in the life of every individual and given that we cannot go back to rudimentary vagabond type of living it is important for us to for us to harness leverage the potential of Uh, 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 a civilization to conserve environment rather to degrade it that can be done by by uh, uh, realizing the potential of all the steps that have been discussed now okay friends hope i have made sense so so it's fairly a straight uh, essay but only problem is that the moment you see this essay you get excited that it is the very simple topic and you start talking about environmental degradation without Uh, taking recourse to or without referring it to, to civilization so if you are uh, sa is within the framework of civilization and environmental degradation then perhaps you would it would fetch you more marks okay okay friends let's meet next week with another topic thank you happy reading